morning everyone. My name is Claudine and my mom is Darlene and she has Parkinson's. I am wearing a mask today. I'm doing mom's video for her and I'm wearing a mask today uh, just because I am missing some teeth right now. <laughs> I did have some teeth extracted and I'm waiting for my new plate so I'm going for another fitting tomorrow um, which is today actually on Wednesday so I'm going for another fitting uh, tomorrow. It's supposed to actually have the teeth on it this time and then hopefully within a week or two I will be back to my regular smiling self. I'm smiling behind this in case you can't tell. Uh, anyway, so lots going on around here. Uh, Mum's arm has been, as you all know, just a terrible, terrible source of pain for her lately. So the doctor tried us on something, tried her on something called Toradol for one week. And it's um, an anti-inflammatory, like a stronger pain relieving, but an anti-inflammatory um, NSAID, like non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs. And uh, so it was working okay. It did definitely help the pain more than just regular over-the-counter Tylenol has. But then it was wearing off like before the next dose anyway. And apparently taking Toradol long term is quite hard on your liver and your stomach. Um, and three per day was sort of the maximum dose and it wasn't really cutting it for her. Um, so we tried a week on that and sort of reevaluated with him. And then he said, try something called Tramadol. So these are both T names, but Tramadol is a synthetic opiate, which is a stronger pain relieving medicine. Um, so I was thinking that this was gonna be really helpful for her. Um, it's really unfortunate, but it doesn't have, I think this is what's going on. It was not nearly as effective actually. And so last night, her first day on it was quite a struggle. Um, just because we had to still supplement that with quite a bit of other like Tylenol and ibuprofen um, just to handle the pain. But I think when I looked it up, it might be because it's not an anti-inflammatory. And I think, I mean, it seems like the pain is in mom's bones right now in her wrist and her elbow and her shoulder, but also all down the long bones. But I think there's some inflammation going on there. So without the anti-inflammatory portion of the tramadol um it's not as being as effective so far but we're today is day two for her and she's not suffering as bad as last night but like i said we are supplementing with ibuprofen because um, she does i think need some anti-inflammatory um results from that so anyway just hoping that we can get some relief for her she got a nice compression sleeve um, from Amazon though. It's nice. It's black. It goes over her thumb. It goes all the way up to her shoulder and that's got like grippy things that sort of hold it at the top of her arm. She said it feels nice. It's quite supportive. Um, so that's good. So that's update on mom's arm. Um, dad on the other hand is still in the hospital. He's um, we're talking with transitions and um, also our home care lady, like not the home care nurse that comes, but the our like manager for the home care um, regarding how many hours dad can get per week of care to come into the home. Right now he's at about seven hours per week, but um, they're going to do a new assessment on him because lots has changed obviously with what his needs are and what his abilities are. Um, so we will have a new assessment done. Um, but they they called me today, like he's medically not really needed in to be in the hospital anymore. And they wanted to know what our goal was. And I said, well, our goal is to get him home. And so they said, because if, if our goal was not to get him home, that they wouldn't bother with like a rehab thing to make him stronger. Um, but they would just put him in placement, you know, at this point in time, because he's not, um, he's not like, he's not just not, it, interested in getting out of bed I don't think you know it's hard for his body I think it's hard for his brain to make himself do that now so um, there's lots to work with with dad but I know that we could do it at home if if I had some help with it from the home care people but we basically had to definitely say that we're like well we I'm saying we but that I'm able to handle like all aspects of it at home and I said well he I'd really, I don't know if I could do if he was totally bedridden, but if he could get out of bed and walk to the kitchen and sit down in a chair and then walk back to his bedroom and get into bed, you know, um, because he, he outweighs me now when I can't really maneuver him and, you know, fling him around like I fling mom, <laughs> not like I fling her, but we do our hug maneuver pretty good, you know, uh, that I wouldn't be able to do that with dad because he is bigger than me now. So 
Um, so there's lots to think about, but we're just sort of talking with people back and forth from the hospital. They're doing an occupational, the occupational um, health people are sort of doing an assessment, a functional assessment, what his needs are, what we can manage at home, and what goals he needs to have as far as mobility goes, where, where his baseline was before he went in there and trying to get him back to his baseline. So my hope is that probably by the end of this week, um, maybe by this weekend, I'm not sure how fast that goes, but if we can somehow get him placed in a rehab facility that will work with him, um, like more than just a half an hour per day, which is what they're sort of doing the physical at, at the hospital. He needs more, um, more attention and more times per day, sort of practicing and getting up and down and strengthening up his core. So that's the goal. And normally those programs are four to six weeks or whatever. So if we can get him into something like that, get him stronger and then work on getting him home is what our ultimate goal is. Um, a lot of people are, um, that have followed us for a while know that I have a hernia, um, quite a large hernia, but um, it's not life threatening. So I'm like barely on a list, I think. <laughs> like I've been on a list since I think August, you know, of this last summer um, to have another surgery, but I'm not expecting to have that done anytime soon just because it hasn't burst. It's not life threatening. And my referral just seems to be sort of gone with the wind. It was good when I did have like a large tumor that I, they were able to get me in quite quickly. And I'm sure that people, you know, that are dealing with cancer and issues like that are having surgery a lot quicker, but I'm glad mine's not life threatening, but so uncomfortable, I'd like to get it dealt with, but I think it's better right now that I'm not dealing with that. You know, I'm able to just sort of maintain it right now. Um, so I can sort of look after mom and dad. But uh, what else, what else is going on? Got the tires done on the Jeep today. They were sort of leaking around, the beads were leaking on the Jeep tires. So they had to sand down the rim and put a new bead on. The tires and the rims were fine after they did that. So I don't have to change that out. But I was gone for a couple hours today, just waiting for them to get that done. But it feels good to not have to worry about it. Those tires have sort of been the bane of my existence since we got the thing, but it's good now. So they all are working and holding their air, hopefully. And, uh, let me see, I'm just, I just brought home a rotisserie chicken from Sobeys and uh, made mom a couple of chicken buns. She put her beet relish, she made a beet and horseradish relish. She loves it, not my thing at all, but I just loaded her fresh Sobeys bun up with beet horseradish and chicken breast. And then she requested one potato chip to give it some crunch in between the buns. So she's having her turkey or her chicken potato chip and beet salad tonight <laughs> or salad sandwich i guess but anyway thank you all for your support and following along with our family and uh for all your you know well wishes and whatnot on the comments we really appreciate it when i do go up to see dad i do read him the comments and all your well wishes um and i know that you guys are all rooting for him and i tell him that you know we're all rooting for you we want you to get home and sort of that's the goal that we're going for so anyway thank you all for watching and Everybody have a great day. Take care.